I'm back again at the same place, different time, my dear friends. I hope you are doing all right around the world. I'm back with another news. Of course, it's transfer news. <laughs> beautiful or not beautiful? Just like Diego Costa said, if you guys remember that interview, Diego Costa had an hazard in Stamford Bridge. <laughs> Diego, beautiful or not beautiful? He's like, <laughs> and they started laughing. <laughs> I remember that one. That was fun. <laughs> But with the news, fun aside, right? Let's put those aside. Timo Vena. Timo Vena. Everybody knows Timo Vena, former Chelsea player, winning the Champions League together with Kai Havertz. Now, Timo, here it is. Timo Vena has accepted Spurs proposal as he wants to return to the Premier League. He's very keen on working with Angie Postoglu. Postoglu also approved the deal. Negotiation ongoing today between Lasvik and Tottenham on loan plus potential option to buy cranes. And we continue. Here it is. Timo Werner is not in Lasvik squad for today's game as he's, he's ready to join Tottenham on loan in the next 48 hours. Deal at final stages, just waiting for decision on buy option cranes. Spurs will cover 100% of Timo Werner's salary until June. That is crazy. And Spurs, they want to buy him after that. That is crazy. What do you feel about this, guys? I, I just have to ask. What do you feel see Timo Werner in Tottenham? <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed, I have to be honest. I'm a little bit jealousy. I don't know. I just, this is just what I feel. I just, you know, Timo, to see Timo in Tottenham, that's just... I liked Timo, although he's the same thing like uh, Modric, you know, they are similar guys, so I'm not disappointed much, but I'm just a little bit jealous, you know, I don't like to see ex-Chelsea player goes to Tottenham, I just, it bothered me a little bit, you know, <laughs> if they go to Arsenal, I'm not much bothered, I am bothered, but not like bothered like Tottenham, you know, Tottenham, Chelsea, just, we are live, we just don't go together, you know, uh, boxing, you don't understand that? <laughs> so, Timo going there, on personal level, I wish him the best, I wish him good luck, everybody deserves to be happy, everybody deserves to play football, you know, especially a footballer like Timo Werner, he got great uh, potential in him, and with Angie Postoglu, it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be good. Angie Postoglu, he has shown at Tottenham, is a great manager, great guy, great personality he has. You can see, you can see when uh, he's talking in a press conference or when he's talking like uh, outside the press conference. I've seen him in the training when he's talking to his players. There's a good personality there. And I think uh, Timo Werner is gonna be good in Tottenham. So we'll see what's gonna happen and hopefully he doesn't score against us. The good thing is, I've seen so many Chelsea uh, supporters, they're not worried about this. Few, they're saying, eh, I'm jealous, just like I'm saying. <laughs> so let's see what's going to happen. Let's keep moving. What's going on on uh, Detro Fofana? Check out this. Understood, Sevilla advanced in, in talks to sign Detro Fofana from Chelsea, deal close to the final stages, moving fast. Fofana, not in Union Bearing squad for the next game. This is Armenia. Detro Fofana on loan. It's just sad, you know. He did not have good time at Chelsea. And I've seen so many people, they were like, we should have given a good time to see where he is, you know. Just like that. But, but things happen and this is transfer business. At uh, Bearing there, I did not work well with him. He did not get so many game time. I was watching a little bit here and there, not everything. <laughs> so, this is another striker we need to talk about, you know, in the future. What are we going to do with him? <clears throat> Excuse me. Is he going to stay for a long time? Because we have him... Uh, who is this guy? I, I forgot my striker's name. <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> And Amando Broya. These three guys, I don't see them as striker. 
because they don't score goals. They don't do nothing. So let's see what's going to happen. And on Victor Oshman, I gave my video yesterday. If you didn't watch, catch after this one. And very, very interesting video, man. Very interesting. I'm so happy about Victor Oshman links. And DJ Drogba, Michael... I said Michael Barak. Mikhail, John Obi Mikhail talking to Oshman to help Chelsea. Striking force, that would be fantastic. I'm so happy about that, man. Things you love to hear. Let's continue. This one, I think you'll like it. You will like it. Check out this from Saudi. Steven Gerrard under pressure to turn around result in Aritifa after two months without a win. That is incredible. Steven Gerrard, two months without a win in the Saudi over there. Wow. I have to say, wow. <laughs> if a manager without a win, they'll get sacked right away. And I'm surprised it, he hasn't get sacked in how many? Two months, they said, right? Two months, yeah. He hasn't get sacked. <sighs> this is this is crazy. If he was in the Premier League, I think he will go. I think he will long gone. He was gone at Aston Villa. He was there. The result didn't go well, and he was gone already. So let's see what's gonna happen with Steven Gerrard if he's gonna continue managing over there to Saudi. And the other thing, Anderson is not happy in Saudi over there the former Liverpool midfield, everybody knows Anderson, right? So let's see what's going to happen if he's going to come back to the Premier League. I always think that that guy just made a mistake to leave Liverpool. He should have stayed at Liverpool. He's a Liverpool legend. Just finish your career at Liverpool. He was having a good season in that uh, crop uh, game. <laughs> I'll say crop game because crop is the manager at Liverpool, right? So crop game or crop midfield. He was having a good stuff. So this is what football is. Sometimes you choose something you just can't, you know, <laughs> understand. Let's continue to Manchester. What is happening? Here it is. Many Manchester United players have lost belief and confidence in the club. They have issues with the way the club has been run. And several didn't think the strategic review going on in the background helped. However, reports of Eric Ten Hag in the dressing room are not accurate. Some are right behind him, others are not. Is also as doubts about some players and some have proven incapable of following his specific instruction on the pitch. Welcome to the struggle. <laughs> Welcome to the struggle. I think Manchester United are about to go through some stuff. Some stuff. Just like Chelsea went through some stuff when this new owner came by the club and then we just started going in a drainage. You're just sinking. You're just sinking. You're just sinking. It's crazy. I think they're about to go through that. Sir Jim Lightcliffe just bought some 25% uh, in Manchester and decision after decision on Jaden. I have something on Jaden Sancho. I almost forgot. Let's talk about Jaden Sancho first and then I'll continue. Manchester United didn't want to include and buy option into Jaden Sancho loan deal to BVP as situation will be assessed again in the summer. Man United and Neos are against cheap buy option as Jaden currently value is not high. Sancho's future will be decided in June. I think the manager has a big part in this. I think the manager has a just a big problem too. Henrik Ten Hag is not that manager who can bring the squad together. This is my, my opinion and this is what I see. He's not that manager who can, you know, he has key players at the club, but I don't think he's that type of manager who can bring them together and start, you know, moving forward. Henrik Ten Hag, if you look back at Ajax, he has this young lads, young team, they were so well together. They were so well in line with him. They were so well, like, football level. It's just insane good. Ajax was great, you know? Very, very good. Akim Ziyech, that time he was there. And we played Ajax Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. And that game was fantastic. You can just see how Ajax used to play under Eric Ten Hag. Very, very good. And I've seen so many people there saying, ah, he was good at Ajax with young players. Maybe the project at Chelsea suits him. <laughs> and everybody, they're like, what are you saying? I saw something on Twitter. I won't mention the name. <laughs> He's a suit for Chelsea because he does well with young players. This is just crazy. 
as Chelsea, it's not just young players situation we have. We have big problems and that. <laughs> it's not just that. So, let's see what's going to happen. But I will see you soon, guys, after the game today. Chelsea played with Preston End in the FA Cup. I will see you and we'll talk about it. There may be three videos today. There may be three. So, keep your eyes open. It's getting on and on and on and it's getting testy. Transfer window. Keep going and keep just, you know that? <laughs> Maybe that's right. I will see you. God bless.